or in this fight Imam. These are similar men in many ways, like I said. I want to introduce to you now Umesh Bhaidama, who, uh, who will proceed and tell you a little more about uh, his thoughts on this conference and, and the opportunity we have today. Very excited to let you know that close 180 people have confirmed. That's the reason why some of you may be sitting a little behind the pillars. You may have difficulty watching. There will be other people who will come. Maybe they're stuck with the traffic problem, whatever it is. If you'd like to come back and take the seats in the front, that would be awesome. So, anyway, uh, again, I'm very excited, very thrilled to see the, uh, the all of you. I know you could have been somewhere else doing your uh, work at office and helping people stay compliant. And uh, you've taken your time to be here and uh, listen to us and again uh, be part of this event. So, before we get started, I would like to share a story of uh, Lord Buddha. This is something I was taught when I was in school. One old woman whose son has just died. And uh, she's crying and her neighbor tells her, you know what, in the outside of the village under the tree, there is a saint, his name is Buddha. You go and talk to him, he might be able to bring your son back to life. It's because he's a God-man, he has done many miracles. So he could go back and do that. Then the mother, cryingly taking her son in her arms, runs to the, the uh, Buddha and tells him, he is the only son that I got. I want him to make him alive, bring back, bring back his life. And Buddha tries to convince her, you know what? I really can't bring him back to life. But the mom doesn't listen. She wants her son back. Then he tells her, okay, I need an ingredient to bring him back to life. All I want you to do is go back to the village, get me a grain of salt from a house that has no death. And if you do that, then I'll bring him back to life. Then she says, oh, it's easy. And I'll go back to the village. And she runs back to the village and goes back and knocks on the window. The first family house he asked, they said, you know what, recently my grandfather died, the next house she goes on, and the mother died, her brother died, her son died, it goes on. By the end of, she's done with all the homes in the village, then she realizes that death is inevitable. So today we all are here, and many of you represent many of the IT and BPU industries, you know that immigration compliance is something that we want to make sure we're compliant but nobody can claim that we are 100% compliant. That is something is the biggest challenge that we have been seeing and we are trying to address that every day. So today's event, or even today's conference theme is most focused more on immigration compliance with all the changes that are happening around the world. So as Buddha said, death is inevitable. So the non-compliance is a big challenge. I don't think any company can come back and say, you know what, we are 100% compliant. But the effort has to be there to make sure that we stay compliant. So, IT and BPO industries today in India over the last 10, 15 years have been growing tremendously. As for NASCOM, it is worth 60 billion US dollars. And it employs 2.5 million employees as of 2009. This is the data that I gathered from uh, NASCOM. So based on my association and my interaction with uh, the senior management in uh, many of the corporations here, close to one third of the workforce that makes around 8,000 employees are always working abroad. So along with these 8,000 employees, in many instances, their families join. So, Every employee who goes abroad, some of them may be single, but in case their wife, their children, their maybe parents, whatever they join, that basically makes 1.6 million people are employees and their spouses from India, are people that you represent, are the people that you manage, are working at any time outside this country. Again, what does it mean to all of us here? This basically is 1.6 million immigration compliance challenges. That's what it is. And many of you who are in this room today, and those who 
those who are in the office doing their work, your job is not that you are just sending the documents to the law firm or processing them. If you look at the bigger picture of the job that you perform today, is to make sure that all these 1.6 million, the lives of the people, or the careers, the schools, whatever it is, people that the work you brought, is what you, you help them to make sure they are compliant and they could do what they are supposed to do. And this is something that you know, all of you basically do back in the, at your job. And it really does, it does not get enough appreciation, that's something that I have seen. There are people in HR, they do retention and all that, but when it comes to immigration, there's a, in many companies a small team, and you, know, you guys are unsung heroes. But I have a lot of deep respect, and I'm very proud of all of you. I think you all need a good hand. So the next is, we talk about compliance. Why do we need to be here today? Because there are, uh, the difference that the GMC conference that we make here is, this is, conference is basically whatever we are doing today is for you all. And anything that we try to put up together, and it's from, for you and it's by, you. guess who? Again, it's you all. So that's the difference we are trying to bring in this conference. So there are many conferences that get conducted work, uh, in India. But the difference here is what we want to make sure this is for you guys and for the people who work hard day and night to help making sure that employees are compliant worldwide. And for this conference, the vision that we have here at Iron Zoom and for this industry here is to share the knowledge that many courses, probably when I visited some of the folks in some of the larger organizations, even in some small organizations, the knowledge that they have and the process maturity that they have to keep the employees compliant or to process their visas or uh, the maturity that they have is amazing. That's what I would like to bring in, make sure that we share that knowledge with the rest of the folks so that it helps the industry grow. And with that, you know, we learn from each other. And also it's a great opportunity for all of us to network and in return in a world grow. So before we get started in GMC4, but I'd like to, I know there are some of you have been attending this conference almost every year, and some of you are new. I would like to give you a little bit of history of how this started. In 2007, I still remember in January first week, and I was speaking to some of my friends who are, in, uh, who are working in some of the large corporations here. I said, you know, the amount of knowledge you have, the process maturity that you guys know, I think you should share with other folks in the industry. They said, that's a great idea, how to do it. Then I said, you know what, I'll pull up something together, let's get started. So within two weeks, we decided to put together a team of people. And the first GMS was launched in 2007. And uh, we had a representation from eight different corporations. And basically, uh, the folks who were there, I mean, they were clearly visionaries. And today, you'll be able to hear from them in the uh, various sessions today. And we had 20 attendees. And it was just simple. It's not like a big conference like this in a room. It's just a round table conference. We just sat together, we spent the whole day, and everyone was excited in sharing their knowledge, and I could see the passion in everyone, and how they want to help this industry, and help this 1.6 million uh, lives out there to make sure they're compliant. So that's what it's all about. And uh, it was a huge success for me. Though it was 20 people, the energy and the passion that I saw in each one of them, and we had the session started at 10 o'clock in the morning, but it moved on till 6 o'clock, then I had a dinner. But the people wanted to be you know, share and learn from each other. It was, it was a wonderful experience for me. I said, you know what, we are going to do this next year. Maybe we will make it a little bigger scale. So after the success of the first GMC, then if you look at the graph here, on 2007, we had 20. 2008, we doubled. And looking at 2009, again we doubled. And 2010, we doubled. It was basically, it exceeded my expectation. I was expecting there to be 120 people. So if you really look at it, and I, we were looking at 120, that's the reason where we have this uh, uh, cluster table that was set up for 120. But I'm glad that there is a need for people, for this knowledge to be shared uh, in the industry. So, moving forward, the 
future, what is that we like to do? Just looking at the response that I see in this industry here, right here in Bangalore. <coughs> you know that many of you have come from different parts of the country, uh, not just from Bangalore here. We would like to, again, definitely, that's only GMC 2011, that's our first uh, conference. So if we really look at the number that we saw, so we should be hitting at least uh, 300 or more. So, you know, definitely that I would require our uh, uh, guidance and uh, participation in this. So along with that, the couple more things we are looking at trying to do is uh, conduct some uh, regional uh, meetings. So probably, especially the four big metros that we have, so we are looking at uh, in Chennai, then uh, Hyderabad, <coughs> and uh, Mumbai, and Delhi. So probably we are looking at trying to do one in those uh, cities. Then uh, afterwards, along with that, followed by maybe once in a quarter, uh, teleconferences, basically focusing more on how we can help the Indian immigration industry to stay compliant. So that's what we have in plan for the uh, next year. Then uh, going back to today's conference today for GMC4, it's going to be very different. And one thing that uh, personally myself and uh, we at Amazon take pride in doing something new, different. So you are going to see that today. So this GMC4, it's going to be great fun. And you are going to carry that experience, man, this is awesome. <coughs> and we have planned many events, fun, and we are going to have some uh, surprise gifts. And uh, that's something Jake is going to have at least what he's going to do. So we really look forward to all of participation and make this event not just learning, also make it fun. And uh, along with that, today's an event, you know, we have a lot of, uh, 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 of uh, industry uh, visionaries in immigration have come here, including uh, so Mithil is going to be here today in the afternoon and uh, along with that we have heads of several different uh, companies, uh, uh, different companies, uh, uh, immigration department heads are here. Then along with that we have uh, Cynthia Ranj, she is the partner at uh, Fragment Elder Benson and uh, we have, uh, uh, I have known Cynthia for the last uh, 10 years. If you are in immigration in uh, US and you got to know Cynthia and uh, uh, I would personally welcome you to the event. Thanks for coming all the way from Santa Clara and here. And uh, Rami Fukui, uh, he's been our customer since probably 2001 or 2000, I don't even remember. But he's a great friend of mine and he has been a great supporter of GMC for the last uh, three years. And uh, uh, he worked with many of the customers here uh, in India. And uh, 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 Rami, thanks for being here. Then uh, Brian Bossi from uh, IFIS. And, uh, and I have met him many times and many other conferences. I used to tell him, you should come to India. He said, yeah, I would love to plan to come. Uh, thank you. Thanks for being here today. And uh, we have uh, another sponsor, you know, Bloom Solutions. And thanks for being here. And uh, I will really thank uh, your support and uh, confidence in this uh, event. So I would like to, today we have uh, great sessions. Again, as per our vision, would love to use this great chance to share and learn. Then also this provides an opportunity for all of us to network and grow. So here I give you INS and fourth yeah, annual GMT conference. Thank you all. <laughs> so trying to give the GMC for details, I want to request uh, Jacob Lipman and uh, he is in a I know Jay probably for the last 10 years. So he used to work very close to another law firm and uh, San Ramon close to law firm. Very creative, over the box thinker. And, uh, and he's very funny too. So, <laughs> so he's a, again, as I said, he's a big fan of Rajnikanth. So, and he watches a lot of his movies. So he's going to do some of Rajnikanth's moves down the road. <laughs> That's what we talked about. Fun. <laughs> so, Jay. Please uh, come over and uh, introduce uh, the GMC4 agenda and the plans. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, let's give a massive round of applause. Looking forward to hearing more from him and also the other the others that are here and 